Okay, we are in our new greenhouse. We are so excited about this one. Um, we've got so many things planting and we wanted to share some of that excitement with you. So here we have Everest broccoli. Um, look at how far it's come. We've been really busy planting that. And so we have 6,000 plants of Everest broccoli, meaning when we put broccoli in your box, it's gonna be more than one little head. And so, Here's Pac-Man broccoli. It's a few days earlier than Everest, so that'll hopefully, we're hoping for, with this early season, we're hoping it'll be in your first box. Beautiful broccoli. And cauliflower, too, is going to be big this year. This one is majestic cauliflower. Right here we have candid charm. Brock, uh, cauliflower. Uh, the plants look so happy and healthy. In fact, these will soon be moving to a cold drain. Yeah. Remember last year how sweet the cabbage was right from Bluebird Gardens? Here's Golden Cross cabbage. This one will be going actually into the high tunnel as a secondary crop, meaning it will be early in one of the very first boxes. And we've already started the lettuce. Here's Coastal Star lettuce. Um, thousands of them planted. Um, looking beautiful. All of these were planted with the easy seeder. Here's um, Stonehead cabbage. <laughs> They're they all look similar at this point, but this is a little bit later than um, than the Golden Cross. A beautiful firm head. And on the back table here we have um, uh, Chinese cabbage, cabbage blue, which last year was in the very first box. And so back in this corner we have the leeks. Um, We'll be planting those. And here's a um, red Russian kale. We have we have three kinds of kale for you this summer. Some of them will be in our own fields. Others will be in the harvest event field. Because remember, kale is one of those free events where anytime you come to the farm, you can stock up on kale or the cut flowers or the cucumbers or many other things. Um, these cucumbers are for the high tunnel. They're sweet success. Probably the best cucumber in the world. And so they'll be going into the high tunnel in maybe a couple weeks or so. And we have pan after pan of peppers. Um, amazing peppers. We're going to have peppers that will be beside the tomatoes. that will be part of your tomato harvest. Um, but just many other kinds of peppers to make your, your season like totally exciting. And we have um, lots and lots of tomatoes growing. Uh, the exciting thing about the tomatoes is when they start sending roots like that, because that means the plant is ready to grow and all of these tomatoes are going to the high tunnel. They're the ones that were in the second YouTube in fact, some of them are like really nice and big. So in the high tunnels, we're gonna have five high tunnels of tomatoes. Um, these happen to be cluster tomatoes. Remember last year we started cluster tomatoes, but only in the field. This year they're gonna be in the high tunnel too, so the quality should just be amazing. Here's early Goliath tomatoes. They're, they, they had the best flavor of any of them last year. And so we're going to have one high tunnel here for them. Two high tunnels of the cluster. And here again are lots and lots of peppers. And probably our best tomato in the high tunnel last year was BHN 589. I've got to weed, you know, whenever I can. And beautiful tomato. Made big, amazing fruit. Great flavor. So... Here we have some pans of peppers. Um, 
We have a lot of peppers planned right beside the tomatoes when you harvest the tomatoes that will be um, uh, like cayenne, Anaheim, jalapeno. So your tomato harvest this year is going to be just exciting. And we did a few cans of lettuce just um, so we would have some to eat because we want you to know that <laughs> the good eating's on the way. You know, Jim, who's our master gardener and works with us year round, his tomatoes look better than mine. So, well, not that those are mine either, but but he did compost tea on his, and that's what we're getting into is compost tea this year, which gives the biology, which is what our whole farm is about, the biology in the soil. And so he had black strap molasses and some other things in there to just so this makes some amazing stuff start to happen. Like, look at his peppers too. Just awesome peppers with like amazing roots. See those roots on those peppers? And so it's another year of incredible learning and, and good eating. So thanks for joining us in our greenhouse. A lot of stuff's gonna grow through this place this summer.